Okay, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate on how to add elements to an existing array in a dynamic fashion. So, which means I will be adding a text box to my web page, and uh, based on the values I provide inside the text box, I would like to have those elements to be added one by one to the list whenever I click on the button Add. So, for each and every value I provide inside the text box, I click the button add and once I click on that add it has to add that particular number whatever I provided in the text box or might be also a string so those values needed to be added to the array and finally list that particular array of values inside a div so let me create a new file so I'm going to call this one as 0 2 for now So I'll be starting with script tag. So the first thing is that I would like to have an array and I'm going to call that one as list for now. So you can also put array here instead of list. So it, this is just available. You can put whatever you would like to have. So list is the array. And now I would like to have a function called add item to existing list. So this is the function which I would like to execute whenever I click on a button. So uh, let me design the UI first. So I would like to have a table first and inside the table I would like to have a TR that is a table row and I would like to have a definition, table definition and the first one will have enter any value so that is going to be available in the first column. In the second column, I would like to have a text box with input id equal to txt value and so the type of this particular input tag is going to be a text box. So I defined a text box and the name of the text box is going to be txt value for now. And then I am going to have another table row and this is just a blank column so that you know I will not have anything here under, underneath the first column so in the second column I would like to mention a button and I would like to identify that button as btn add and type equal to button and value which is going to be the caption so I would like to have something like add to list and on clicking this button I would like to execute add item to existing list function so this is essentially nothing but whatever the one we added here so on clicking on this button I would like to have this function to be executed which is nothing but this function okay so I have the table which is going to list me the text box and the button which is fine so, whenever I would like to display the results, I would like to have, first of all, items count to be displayed. So, I would like to have items count as a div tag. So, which means I would like to have some kind of value to be displayed here dynamically whenever I click on add. So, which means it needs to count the number of elements available in the array and finally place it inside the div. And on top of that, I would like to have another div and I would like to call this one as items list. So this is the div which is supposed to list out each and every element available in the list. So the more elements I add, the more elements we are going to see inside this particular div. So let us concentrate on add item to existing list. So in here I would like to say var number of items equal to list dot length. So this is the one okay so list dot l is small case here as because you can see list dot length. So length is the property which gives us the number of elements available in that particular list. So in that way I'm having the number of items and 
whenever I would like to add you know I can just get the same number of items which is nothing but the last position so the position starts from zero so number of items if there are four if the position starts from zero the last position is three so in order to add a new element I have to have three plus one which is nothing but the new location so the new position is always going to be list dot length as because if I have four elements the last position is three and now I am adding to the position four which is nothing but the new element so inside this one I would like to have something like document dot get element by ID and txt value so this is the one I would like to fetch from so this is nothing but this one so I'm getting hold of this one which is nothing but the test box getting the value out of it and then placing inside the list and after that I would like to have the array to be displayed so I would like to call this one as display results so this is the function I would like to have and I'm going to write the display results function in this case so in this function first of all I would like to get the number of elements available using list.length so which gives me the number of elements so I have a tag called items count I would like to place the number of elements in this div so for that purpose I need to get hold of that element so I'm going to say document dot document dot get element by ID and then I'm going to use the same div whatever I have in here place it here so in that way I get hold of items count div and in order to write inside the div I can use the property inner HTML and then I can say number of items added equal to n dot to string So now that we have the number of items already displayed inside the items count div we need to have all the items to be displayed in the items list so in order to do that first of all I need to get hold of this guy so I just copy this for now and I'm going to say something like variable items div equal to document dot get element by ID and then I can say items list so in that way I get hold of that div next I need to remove each and every element available in that list why because the more elements I add for each and every element I click on this one I need to have the refreshing of display elements so whenever I'm going to refresh the display elements I need to get rid of all those elements which are already available here so all the nodes are going to be removed from here and I'm going to add a fresh list of all the new items so in that way I'm going to create new items every time whenever I click on add of course there are more efficient ways to do this but for now I just wanted to demonstrate by on how to remove all the existing nodes and then recreate all the nodes dynamically so for that purpose I'm going to have a while loop and I can say items list div dot if it has got any child nodes I'm going to remove them so the easiest way to remove there is remove child and I can say items list div dot last child so you can use first child or last child it doesn't matter here but as long as it removes at least one of those children we are good enough so it removes each and every child here and again goes back and if it finds more child nodes it's going to remove further so in that way at the moment I complete this while loop we are going to have all of the child nodes which are in between these two tags are going to be removed completely and once everything is done now I would like to add all the elements from the beginning which is starting from zeroth position in the array so i equal to zero i less than n i plus plus so which means I would like to start from zeroth position in the array and less than n which is nothing but number of elements so first of all I need to create new div to be added inside this div 
So for that purpose, I'm creating a new div and I'm going to call document dot create element a new element div and under that I would like to have new div related information to be placed so as I mentioned inner HTML is the property where we can place any information so in this case I would like to have first of all what item we are going to display so in this case I would like to display i plus 1 so that we will be knowing the logical representation of the current position so I could also say i which essentially goes to 0 so in this case i plus 1 just because you know it makes more sense for our readability okay so on top of that I would like to say of n dot to string so which means I'm saying item 1 of 4 item 2 of 4 so this is the length and i plus 1 makes more sense as because I'm working with n here which is nothing but number of elements so on top of that I would like to have the element itself to be displayed by saying list of i so this is where I'm really getting the element inside the array so once I get it and all of this information will be placed together as a simple caption or simple information inside this inter inner HTML of that new div. So once I have the new div completed, I need to add that new div to my items list. So the reference of this items list is available here and I am going to use the same reference items list to div dot append child. So append child is the method which I can use in order to have a new child node to be added to that particular div. So, so new div, let us ensure that we have the correct one, okay. And there we are. So let us execute this and test it. So I go in here, click on this. and I have enter any value here so let me add something like jag and click add and now you can see item 1 of 1 but I don't have the element to be displayed here I might be missing something let us quickly check so I have a semicolon which is a bug I need to remove that so let me refresh it again so let me say jag and click add and now you can see I have item 1 of 1 items are available as jag so I can say chat and I can say add it now item 1 of 2 so out of 2 items the first one item is jag the second item is chat and I can add any kind of string to that and all of those are going to be displayed dynamically so I'm adding to the list and at the same time the count and everything is going to be updated accordingly and I have all the items to be displayed dynamically.